Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hi, hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, fine. How are you? Fine. So fine. Arriving to my home right now. Great, great, great. Hi, teacher. I almost get home. Hello. How was your day? Uh, so fine. Nice. Only meeting, meeting, and meeting. Oh, that has been a very busy day then. Yeah. Okay. But the important is to to talk with the people and to find solution to the problems. That's the best. Uh -huh. <laughs> the best thing. Today is December, beginning December. Yeah. Time is the most beautiful month of the year. I agree with you. I agree. <laughs> hmm? Yes. The best. more expensive. The most expensive. Yeah, somehow too. <laughs> this is the most when we spend more money, right? Yeah. There are so many things to do. Yeah, to be the family, to do that. lots, lots, lots of things. In December, lots of celebrations, right? that go in December too. But definitely that is the best, is the best month, month of the year. Well, let's see, tell me present, Adolfo, present. Present teacher, good evening for all. Hello, good evening. Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Nice. Ana. Present Hola. teacher, no Hola, escuché mi nombre. ¿Quién no? Adriana Sofía. Oh, so sorry. Adriana Sofía, tú. Sí, yo soy Adriana Sofía. Adriana Sofía, yeah. Ana. Ana no here. No. Brenda. Brenda. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia Guadalupe. El, el Cruz Antonio. Cruz. David. Present teacher. Thanks, David. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Okay. Kevin, no, here, Kevin. Mauricio Emilio. Present. Nubia Sulema. Nubia. Pedro Luis. No here, Pedro Luis. Saul Edgardo. Saul. Sul Mayanet. Present teacher. Victor, Victor. Fernando Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, Rosy. 
Machine. Present teacher. Le toca penitencia. Sí, porque se tardó mucho. Se me esconde el minuto. Correcto. Se tardó un minuto de que cante, ¿verdad? Thank you, David. You're welcome. Le toca cantar, Rosy. Sí, ya hay pocos en la clase, se van a salir todos. No, les van a llamar a los demás y van a entrar todos. All the ones that are missing. Ok, vamos a ver. And today we are going to, okay, let's say, I'm going to share. We're going to start talking about comparatives. What are comparative words? I'm sorry. And the topic is design a basic plan to organize an inventory management system. Design a basic plan to organize an inventory management system. And you're going to be able to design a proposal to implement a cycle count program at the end, right? Let's see. Check these questions. And you can answer these questions about your knowledge, about companies you know, right? How do companies keep their inventory count <clears throat> accurate? How do companies keep their inventory count accurate? And how often should a warehouse keep count of their inventory? Those are the two questions that we have. How do companies keep their inventory count accurate? And how often should a warehouse keep count of their inventory? Okay. <clears throat> See, we are on page 37, right? Page 37. I'm going to send you to groups for you to go discuss with your partners. We are 13, 13. We're going to make groups of four. Let's uh -huh. let's discuss the questions and then we check together. Try to join. Join, join. What page? 57. 30. 37. 37. Okay. Uh, how, how do companies keep their inventory count accurate? <coughs> Are you ready? Ready, ready. <coughs> I'm sorry. How do companies keep their inventory count accurate? We use uh, 
a platform, a platform, a system. <laughs> it's a common system uh, to all the warehouse where we have the product. And they registered the pro the inbounds of product with the number of documents, the number of items, and the date of expiration, and the number of load. So, as that way. Okay. Uh, and the and the company uh, okay. they they do uh, I don't know quad, quarterly inventories like three months yes they they uh, <laughs> have people count all the materials and looking in the system that is the same quantity that they have. Yes, they do, and physical inventory yes. every three months mm -hmm. to, to, to be sure that the inventory in the system is the same that the inventory physical. Yes, and the other partners, are Adriana, Fernando, Jose Alfredo, uh -huh. <clears throat> I think that we can keep our inventory accurate and maybe doing a a, a good job in ordering the the things, the items and using a system. Uh -huh. There's some problem with, with, with the system, right? Yes. Yeah, for, for, for example, if you do a, <laughs> Uh, inventory uh, once a year you need to have another way to know uh, the quantity of your inventory okay yeah maybe it's possible maybe it could be could be uh, about yourself and your process mm -hmm. uh, you compare and you maybe could be a uh, do an idea. Yeah. But if we speak about the, the Rose company, uh, we have to, we have to mention, we have to speak about the barcode system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pedro, how are you? Uh, Pedro. Hi. I think uh, that uh, if you have a system yeah. to monitorize your inventory, mm -hmm. uh, you don't need to do it uh, to, to check the inventory once a year, do it start, starting from zero, no. You can take, uh, you can have to uh, another system and, and system very much. Uh, uh, complementary system. Yeah, not complementary, you know, uh, parallelo, parallel system mm -hmm. to, to, to give you to, to the, the, the main system is, is yeah. the principal the and uh, it, it has uh, everything, all the numbers and all the, 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 the counters, the quantities mm -hmm. and all, but the back system, mm -hmm. uh, it can uh, to 
como how to ensure the inventory a respaldar how, si lo que, a que el sistema principal lo está haciendo bien está dando las okay. cantidades correctas ya yeah. o en un momento dado también pudiera ser que partiendo eh, del, 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 from the, the from the main system the principal mm -hmm. system you can uh, uh, check the count the quantity you can check. of of, yeah. the, of the of the, the, the system not counting all the existence in the in uh, inventory no yeah so, it's necessary it's necessary to it's necessary to have a look for the uh, storage for example if you don't you have to believe in your system but you have to check and yes. confirm yes. and confirm the the stock and and believe it or not the problem of the most the most problems to the systems are uh, errores humanos uh, caused by human oh. errors mm -hmm. uh -huh. the, it's okay the system my company is, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> they have audits. Uh, ay, ¿cómo decir? Hacen auditorías, pero ya manuales y solo por un laboratorio, no completo, como lo hacen una vez al año. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. uh, you can say in my company. Uh, How do you say audit auditor in English? Auditoría in English, teacher. Audit. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, your your implement audit every six months, for example. No. Every day. Every day. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, Oof, it's uh, too much time. Yeah, too much time. But Are much laboratories, did you? Yeah. yeah. I know. It's a strictly job. Yes. Because okay. if you sell, if you sell a uh, a uh, a uh, bad product, you can impact in the health of the population. Yeah. yeah. That in that case, when you're talking about audit, it's it's not just a, if the product is good or bad, but what about the 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 amount of product that they have? If it is giving the what they need, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That they want. Mm -hmm. Are they selling enough? Are they making enough money? Because that's the purpose there. If they are working, yeah, but, but you have to take in account the expiration date of the product. I know. And yeah, and if the if we have a a, a product out of date, you have to you have less product in your inventory mm -hmm. automatically. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it doesn't work. Okay, Brenda, how are you? Do you have something for us to tell for us? Hi guys, I'm work right now, but I am here at the AD11 and nobody else, but I I entry at this time. I arrive home in 15 minutes and I I go presence uh in the hall, but right now okay, no. No Okay, Sorry. no problem. Okay, okay. Don't Take worry. Care. Be happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo interrumpí okay. a Pedro. Pedro. No, tranquila. Eh, the audit, eh, it can And be And the second a one? Le Pedro. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Pedro. Sorry. No, no, no. So it's just that uh, uh, 
the audit uh, of, of what you are talk, uh, you were talking about, uh, it can be uh, help because if you take audits, not just the inventory, the, the amount, the quantities of the of the expires uh, dates or all that, uh, you can audit to the process or the all the the. The actions you you have to take around the system, and the system it can be works good, works nice, and and, and it can result to you uh, a form very realized to count your inventory. Okay, just let's give a couple of minutes for the people who are not here. Hey, who's missing? Teacher, you have a new new style of <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, we went to the salon today. It's Tomorrow. look very fresh. <laughs> Thank you. Tomorrow is my graduation early in the morning. So at eight, we have to be in the hotel. We went to the salon today to be ready. <laughs> yeah, it was very nice. For tomorrow. Congratulations. So we're ready for the party. Yes. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to wake up at about five o'clock in the morning to get dressed. Mm -hmm. Because it will be very early. Finally, I finished the maestria on, in the 2020 in December, but they had lost my, my, it was like a memory, the graduation work that, that I presented. So they had it. Really? Yeah. So when I asked them, they said, what happened with, with my process? They, master, master, what, what area? Uh, in no 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 I have uh, in teaching is the professorado that I have then I got the licenciatura is in English right in English teaching but yeah the master is in entorno virtual de aprendizaje oh really good this is the future that's the present <laughs> now, okay. now it is the present the, and future. Yeah, when I started studying, teacher. it was teacher. pandemia is the present. Yes, it's the pandemic in the present. Tell me. Talking about where, where is the party? Where? Well, there is no party. It's, it's a graduation only. The the, the ceremony. Why no party? <laughs> Just the ceremony I have to work. So I'm I'm free during the day, right? So fortunately I'm on vacation already. Yeah, I'm a teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> ¿Qué dice, compañero? Oye, la noción. Oh yes. <laughs> so yeah, we are free. I'm free on the, in the morning. I'm free all day long up to up to 10, up to 8, 
right that, that we have the class. Mm -hmm. But before I'm, I'm free. So yeah, tomorrow we will be. Okay. Mañana de la clase con birrete. With what? Oh, with birrete. No, yeah. we are not, we're not using birrete, not there. Only Evangelica, I guess. Okay. Is the one that uses uh, toga y birrete for the graduation. Where is the magic? Tomorrow we free. <laughs> we have to celebrate for you. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you want a day off. In your name. <laughs> <laughs> in name of the teacher on behalf of the teacher yeah we will and I still have to work Saturday too that's the only time I'm working now I'm on vacation already so we will celebrate Saturday afternoon Saturday. Uh -huh. yeah no, no more no more classes Saturday afternoon just the morning Carlita has a new look too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, December December is the month for the new looks. Only I have to paint my 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 hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I I dyed my hair like about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. But today it was like just to cut it a little bit yeah so to change to change for the picture <laughs> have the same image for the picture so we can see from one diploma to the other one we can see the the difference different picture every time <laughs> yeah Okay, let's see, tell me your answers. What, what answers did you get in each of the questions? Let's see, the first one was, how do companies keep their inventory count accurate? How? Mm -hmm. How do companies keep the inventory count? That means like, to get to know how much inventory they have, right? And to have it accurate, correct. How? Remember yesterday we were mentioning that uh, if you don't keep a system for keeping all the record of the inventory that you have, that will become a real problem, right? At the moment, somebody wants you to sell them their inventory. You will not know how much to save, right? But for, the, for the cost that you have in your inventory. But now, how do you think companies keep their inventory count accurately? How? Well, in my group, we talk about the company, the Rose company. Mm -hmm. And and she said for us that the company is a pharmacy. Uh, they have a barcode system, and they check every day all the inventory because it's automatic system. Okay. Okay. Yeah, definitely. That's the best, right? To keep mm -hmm. automatic system. Okay. How often would a warehouse keep count of their inventory? How often? What do you think? How often think, should um, a warehouse? Uh -huh. every, every year, it depends on the, how big is the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Every year. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in the group, David says in, in the company that he works uh, is uh, every day. In Rose's, in Rose's place. No, David's. No. David. <gasps> really, David? Every day is a, con a counter teacher. Wow. For all year. 
Wow. So today they counted and tomorrow they counted again. And so at the I, end of at the I end, have a three person for exclusive the counter. But you count only the warehouse or the whole stores around the country? No, only warehouse. Only my warehouse. Only the warehouse. Every day. Every does, day. Does it vary from one day to the other one? Uh, we have the 42. Uh, no, excuse me. Uh, 70 million, mil, millions for units in this moment. Then uh, we need the counter every day, but the, the inbound and album is every day. Uh, every day the, the warehouse. Okay, that's why you count it every day too. Yes. 70 million of? The units. Uh, units, what kind of units, the products? All the things uh, that you can find in Dollar City, right? Yes, Dollar City. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh, there you can find from food to clothes and adorns and uh, whatever for decoration, whatever you want to buy. Mm -hmm. Anything, anything, the, the objects. Mm -hmm. Oh, really, my friend? Yeah, imagine that's so count. hard. Yeah, of course. Counting yeah. everything, wow, wow, wow. And, and you have to review any products in the, in the on, on shelf because uh, some people take the product and damage the product. Yes, I, the three people dimension uh, uh -huh. is the responsible, the counter and the uh -huh. uh, extraer, separar, como se dice? Take out. Or take out the, take the out. product of damage. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but imagine doing that every day. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Uh, right. The good is the people have work. Yeah, that's a lot of people have work. A lot of people. And they keep really, really busy, right? Hey, uh, can I show my warehouse uh, one picture? Sure. Or do you have an idea? Yes, 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 of course. This is uh, a half wall, uh, un pasillo. Mm -hmm. I have 23 uh, half wall. 23? Uh, no, 25, 25. Five. Yes. But then okay. I five level. One, two, three, four, five. In the tall is the two point two uh, meters. Wow. Yeah. And of course you don't have only one eyes in the in the warehouse. You have many eyes, right? Yes. That's like the area of separation. Yes, it's separation because. This is the out, and this is an in. Oh, they are. Mm -hmm. My warehouse is in construction at the moment because the, the elevators and the people is a provisional area in uh -huh. the moment. Uh -huh. This is the rocks. Rocks is the technology, the pushback. Uh -huh. You are easier to, to manage all the, the things that you have, right? Yes. Yeah, having five levels, wow. Yes. That's For you get an idea 
or the warehouse. Yeah, and everything is very neat. So you know exactly where to find each item. Um, and the system is the help for the track every item when then whatever we get shown in the warehouse. Uh -huh. Yeah, because imagine you need to buy, you need to get something, you just look exactly in the place where it should be, right? Yes, yes, it's exactly. Very different to the other houses, uh, warehouses that we have seen before, right? That everything is mixed up and then you have to use a robot to find things. Okay, very good, excellent. Thank you, David. Let's see. Let's move to the next slide. Check. Here we have a conversation. Steve and Anna are trying to find out the location of two products they have received in their warehouse. Take turns practicing the conversation. Now let's read. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden plants, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden plants. Remember, we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any re record here. The order was from the people who manufactures from from the people who manufacture tables. But the way the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong top. Okay, now, so what was the problem? The registration name is not correct, right? Then, as the name is not correct, they have been placed in a different place. That's why mm -hmm. it is difficult to find them. Okay, now repeat after me. It says here the, in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks. It say here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden plants. But I can't find them anywhere. But I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden plants. 200 wooden plants. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. I remember I got an order for a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find it, any record here. Let me, Let me see, see if, if I, I can, can find, find any, any record, record here. here. The order was from the people who manufacture table. The, the order was, was from, from the people, people who manufacture tables. tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago. A week ago. Find them either. But I can't. But I can't find them either. I see the problem. Uh, I see, I see the problem. problem. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks. And it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. And it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Okay, very good. That's the reason why they don't find things, right? Now, I'm Steve, you are Anna. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. 
Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden plants. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufactured tables, but the way the manager, the, but the, by the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden plan. And it seems that crate was placed in the wrong dock. Okay, thank you very much. Now you are Steve and I am Anna. Go ahead, you begin. One, two, three. It says here in the index inventory that we have 200 wooden plants, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I will find them? 200 wooden planks. Mm, I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find it, any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a create of electronic device delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the ground dock. Okay, very good. Now we have a couple of questions here to answer based on the conversation. What item is Steve looking for? Who placed an order for wooden boards? Why was Steve not able to find the items in the warehouse? Okay, I'm going to send you two groups for you to discuss and, and read the conversation and then answer the questions. Okay, let me see. We're going to make more groups. Oh, you're 18 now. There you go. Try to join. Try to join, try to join. Brenda, Jose Alfredo, Saul. Hi, I'm calling Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo, hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alfredo, I, was, I was alone, teacher. Yeah, I but know. But Jose Alfredo, it's with me right now. Yeah, I know. That's why I was moving people because there were a couple that didn't enter. Mm, okay. Okay. Jose Alfredo. Hello, Alfred. Jose Alfredo. Hello, 
está José Alfredo Adolfo? No, nobody wants me. He's connected, but he's not here. Yeah. Boards were, were recorded as 20 wooden, wooden plant, and it seen the crate was played in the wrong dock. Okay, again. Okay, me still. It say here in the... Está Claudia, no está Claudia. No, he's listening. Ay, Dios. Uh -huh. está José Alfredo, que no, nunca apareció. <ríe> Se perdió. Sí. Vaya, Carlita, me la voy a llevar. But we only have to ask her or we have to practice. We have to practice the conversation and then answer the question. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Ya me la llevo, Carlita. Okay. Who plays an order from wooden boards? The manufacturer, I think. The, the order was, uh -huh. was from the people who manufacture. Who plays an order from wooden boards? ¿Y cómo le pongo? Quiero ver. People... People who manufacture. Who manufacture. Why was Steve not able to find the items in the warehouse? Um, <coughs> ¿Cómo dice la pregunta? Why, Why was yes. Steve not able to find the items in the warehouse? Mm -hmm. The 200 would have... No. Okay, why why was Steve not able to find the Items in the world. And because. <laughs> Because the item was placed in the wrong dock. Mm -hmm. mm Okay. Finished the shirt. Finished. Great, great. Got to say present. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost, right? If you're ready, we can go. Let's go, let's go. We order. Excellent.
Ok, ok. Almost coming, everybody. Okay, a ver, tell me your answers. Who wants to be the first one? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay, what item is still looking for? He's looking for a 200 wooden planks. Only. <laughs> Only, right? Only 200 wooden. What happened to them? Why he doesn't find them? Why doesn't he find them? What's the problem there? There is a the problem. problem. <coughs> What's the problem? The, the problem was that they were placed in the ground dock. Mm-hmm. They were placed on the wrong place, right? On the wrong dock. And did they, do you think they will find things if things are not located correctly? How can that affect the efficiency of the warehouse? Uh huh. How can they? How can that affect the efficiency of a warehouse? Because it's a um, time lost. Uh -huh. A lot of time. <laughs> and no. Waste of time. Yeah. A waste of time, definitely. That's a waste of time. Looking for things everywhere and they are with the wrong name. <laughs> of course, you will not find them if they are labeled with the wrong name and they are also registered with the wrong name, right? In that case, it is definitely, definitely very, very difficult to find. If no, we could say it the impossible, right? Impossible to find them. Let's see the next question. For the next sentence, who placed an order for wooden boards? Who? Mm -hmm. According to the conversation. Check the question. Huh? Who placed an order for wooden boards? Manufacturer um, places an order for wooden boards. Uh huh. What happened to that word order? Uh, was placed in the ground duck. Okay, that was placed on the ground duck. That who ordered? Check the question says who ordered. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Anna. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. Exactly. exactly. And why was Steve not able to find the items in the warehouse? Why? Because of the name are wrong. Exactly. A little different bit. It's so, so. Uh -huh. Nobody's a different. 
Yes. So if you label things with the different for them, right? Imagine you say, well, I have 200, 200 erasers, but then you register them with a different name, pencils instead of erasers. Do you think you will find them when you're looking for them? No, it is not possible. But the words is a little bit different. It one of the words is in, in, in the difference it is um, in in wooden boards. So, would you find something that is misplaced in the correct in the wrong place? Yes or no? Yes. A ver, last question. Why was Steve not able to find the items in the warehouse? Why he wasn't able to find the warehouse? He said, I looked for it everywhere. I mm -hmm. checked the system. There was nothing. I checked here. Nothing. I know something entered last week, but where is it? Remember, the form you register something should be accurate, right? And the place you put it also, you should be very careful. Because when you keep things in the right place, you know when they are about to finish or when they are already finished, you know, ah, listen, there is no toilet paper. <laughs> no, because you know what is the position of the toilet paper, right? So you will perfectly know where to look for things and where to find them. So, <laughs> Pasha, vamos a ver it. Vamos a la attendance right now. Adolfo Rivas. Hello, teacher. Present. Adriana María. Present, teacher. Adriana Sofía. Present, teacher. Ana. Present, teacher. Brenda. Present, teacher. Okay. Claudia Guadalupe. Who's here? Cruz. No here, Cruz. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. David? Present teacher. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Jose, Albert, Jose Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Mauricio. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saul. Present. Unos azulejos vienen a comer cordoncillos. Oh. Sulma Janet. Present teacher. Uh, Victor. No Victor. Fernando. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. A ver. Vamos a ver. How many people do I have here? Okay, but oh, I have more. Nice. Nice, nice. Well, let's move. Now that we call the attendance, let's move a little bit. Check. 
What are we talking about today? We're talking about air or this is not very common are at the end of a word, right? When we add or we use these words so these suffixes, these are suffixes, right? Suffixes are, well, it's a particle that you add at the end of a word to make it become a noun. So in this case, we are going to be forming nouns that have exactly the same root. So this is, this is very, very uncommon, right? R. The most common ones are air and or. And you use them to make a word or to make a verb become a noun. So check. We use air or or are at the end of a word, right? So we use them at the end of the word. The suffix air or and are are used to create nouns of agency indicating a person or thing that performs an action. For example, if you say the verb is play and then you say player, player is a person who plays. And then you have worker, worker is a person who works. Astronomer, it's a person, right? It's a person who does an action. It's a doer, it's a performer, okay? Because they perform the same function and are pronounced in the same way. Er, it can be difficult to decide which suffix is the correct one to use. When a verb is changed into a noun of agency, using a suffix, is, it will almost be, almost always, right? It will almost always be ER. But in some of the cases, we use or. Hola. 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 <laughs> so check. Here I have some nouns, right? <laughs> uh, we're talking about verbs that become nouns. If we have the noun director, what do you think is the verb? What is the verb? Direct. Uh-huh, exactly. Direct. Direct. Yes, direct director. Director. Direct director. And we have some more. What else do you see? Uh-huh. The second? Yes. Educate. Educate, educator, right? So you know that you can also have the noun education, right? Teach, teacher. Teach, teacher, exactly. And when you say education, it's a noun, but we're not talking there about the person. But when you mm -hmm. say educator, you're talking about the person who does the action. So check the difference, yeah. right? When you say- The person that educates. Exactly. So when you want to make a noun or you want to make a verb become noun, you have many letters. Oh, um, aha, you can add eon or ness and that'll be okay. But if the purpose that you have is to become or to make a noun that is a person, that is a, a, a doer, we can say. If we want to do a doer or to represent a doer, we are going to add ER or or. Profess, professor, right? Conquer. 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 Council. Uh huh. What's Council. the council? Council. Counselor. Counselor. 
concealer. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. So each of them will vary, right? Depending on the case. Now, check. Auditor. What's the verb? To audit. Audit. Uh -huh. audit. Narrator. What's the verb? Narrate. Narrate. Yes. And if we have. I lost it. Okay, um, actor. What's the verb? Act. 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 An actor acts. Commentator. Comment. 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 A comment would be a noun, but a comment, but okay. comment is a verb. Right? No, okay. I'm going to tell you a comment. A comment. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to tell you a noun, but don't forget to comment the game. That's a verb. Okay, so in this case, the pronunciation will make a difference. Professor, Teacher. yes. Uh, could you give us an example of the suffix AR? That's very, very weird. I found it only, mm -hmm. only in the in the example where they commented that it could be possible to be used instead of or. But I have never, I have never used it. I have never found a, an example of, of a word. I have here an enormous list with different rules depending on the, on the, on the, ah, I found some here. Check. Ah. I was thinking and mm -hmm. I I can uh -huh. I can imagine one. Okay, by imagine beggar. Do you know the word beggar? <clears throat> no. No. Beggar. Beg is the person uh, for money. Uh-huh. Oh. That's beggar. I'm going to share it. Yeah, I found some. And I was saying no, I didn't find, but yeah, I did. Let me share here. I'm going to add it here because uh -huh, it's it's very uh, it's very strange to see it, and that's why they say that the meaning is similar to the one uh, where you have or, and that's why it is uh, not so common to be used because you can perfectly use or instead of are, but there are some special cases when you cannot use or and you have to use are, right? I'm going to show you, just give me a minute. Okay, let's check. I'm going to show you uh, some other examples I have uh, related to or or air, right? And then I'm going to show you the other examples using R. Uh -huh, but I have never paid attention to them, but yes, they exist. So check, we said translate, translator, right? Edit, editor. Survive, survivor. Invent, Inventor, conduct, conductor. And here we have another one, move it. Survive, survivor, invent, inventor, conduct, conductor, narrate, narrator, concealer, conceal, investigator, investigate, perpetrator, perpetrate, visitor, visit, operator, operate, a spectator, a spectate, collaborator, collaborate. So um, when you have, I'm going to write one, for example, here, if we say survive, I will survive, ¿se acuerdan? <laughs> <laughs> I will survive, oh, oh. but check, survive, what happens, when you have to add or, is that you eliminate the E 
and then you add the or, and then you say survivor. But there are cases where you are going to add er, not or. In that case, you only add r. Yes, for example, teach, teacher, right? In that case, you have to add er because it finishes in sh, okay? Teach, teacher. Write, but the case of write, to say write finishes in E, you only add R. Write, writer. So it's not a parameter to say, ah, es que si terminó en eso lo le agrego er. No, no. In that case, if the word in a noun, you need to add or, you eliminate the E before you add the or. Check this example. We have that, butter. Barter, barterer, canvas, canvasser, cutter, cutterer, cheat, cheater. The person who cheats is a cheater, right? Eat, <laughs> eater, boys. Eat, eater, embroider, embroiderer, fill, filler. Chequen que no estamos hablando de comparatives aquí, porque ni siquiera estamos hablando de adjectives, right? We're talking about words that when I have the noun and I add er or I add or or I add r, they become a noun, right? Feel, filler, fiv, fever, format, formatter, grab, grabber, loiter, loiterer, loot, looter, propel, Propeller, rap, rapper, read, reader. So el que hace rap se llama rapper, right? The one who reads is a reader. Scrub, mm -hmm. scrubber, sit, sitter, shred, shredder. Shredder. What is shred? Shredder. Shred. Let me let me tell you the correct uh, definition of tread. Yeah, because I don't know what does tread and and loiter. It's to destroy. Uh -huh. To trash. Shred. Shred is a very small thing piece that has been torn from something. That's okay. Como lana, right? To cut mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. something broadly into, into strips. It's also shred. A thin strip torn from a larger piece. Una tira, un trozo. That's a shred. A, okay. And the shredder is the one that does that. For example, if you work as a person who just cuts pieces of something, you could be a shredder, right? And then we have travel, traveler. The person who travels is a traveler. Jack, jacker. And there are several exceptions to the rule, right? For example, conquer. You, you don't say conqueror, verdad? Sino que conqueror. In that case, you add or instead of air. Council, concealer, council, concealer. Offer, offeror, sale, sailor. And that's meaning in noun. And here we have the ones with R. Remember we said nouns of agency and the, we call them nouns of agency because they depend on the root, right? My root is uh, this because it has the same, uh, how can we say, like the same base of the verb. Yeah, so they that doesn't change. It has the same base of the verb that by adding ER, it becomes a noun. It's not like the, all the normal nouns that we know, chair, table, right? But in this case, we have a verb we add a suffix and that verb becomes a noun. That's an agency, a noun of an agency ending, right? Because they are fo uh, following a rule to become a noun. 
And it says there is no real convention to dictate when R is the appropriate ending, right? There is, so there is no rule to tell you by after this letter, you add ER. After this one, you add AR. And after this one, you add OR. There is no rule. The words are given and we just have to memorize them, right? There are only two nouns that can be directly derived from verbs using R. Beg, beggar, lie, liar, right? The lie. Mm -hmm. But they have some, we have some other words. For example, uh, borgo or borglar. But of course, borglar is the original word, but borg can what is a yeah. burglar is a person who jumps into a place to steal, right? And the action that that person makes would be. And then finally, there are a few other nouns of agency that end in R, but they are not derived from the directly connected to a verb. So you have borsar, registrar, scholar and vicar but so you cannot connect them directly with a verb right the ones that are coming directly from a verb because they have the same root are beg beg beggar and lie liar okay any question here teacher no. can, can can i ask you questions but in the platform uh-huh I don't, I don't know if you uh, if you if I I lost you. <laughs> Jose Alberto. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> La perdemos. And now? Aha, hoy sí, hoy sí. Ah, okay. Uh, I I have a question in the platform in the homework. 4.9. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw the platform, mm -hmm. but in the 4.9, the instruction this says um, type the known from the following verbs manufacture, manufacturer, manufacturer, Supp supply, supplier, supplier, yeah, distribute, distributor, uh -huh. manage, manager. Manager. And retail, retailer. But I put the 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 known and the one the number one to the number four is That's one. Three point three point nine or four point nine? Four point nine. Four. Let me check. Ah, it's charging. Manufacture. Which which one do you have problem with? Here I have the same problem. With which teacher? Do you have problem with all of them? Yes, no. me no, but I write in uh, many nouns and um, in ninguno era correcto. ¿Qué nouns no sé. Brenda? Manufactured. Ah. Ahorita no sé cómo queda. And right now, I don't know. Um, just, oh, solo lo dejé así. Just but I have a problem with the answers. I don't know what, what is the correct answer. Uh -huh. Let's see, this distributor manager. No le han puesto punto al final, ¿verdad? Porque no es oración, es no, palabra. Teacher. We're at the point. No, 
no yes, with without, the point. without the point. Uh -huh. without yeah, the without. Point. No You're, point. But I got all of them correct, chicos. Yes, yeah. I have it all, all correct. Uh -huh. uh, me too. Everything is correct. Checking. Okay. The, the, uh -huh. the point is the problem. Uh -huh. Yes, my friend. You see, mm -hmm. Be careful because uh, we put period to sentences. But here we're putting only one word, right? Mm -hmm. The word yeah. we, cannot, we cannot put a period. I put the point because the one is manufactured. It have a point. Ajá, pero no, no debe. Ajá, Ajá because okay. I, I, I have the same problem with manufacture. Really? Serious. Ajá, no, no. Ajá, but they Maybe. should be with no period. Yes, I Maybe. put with no period, with period. Uh, I, that. You have to refresh, my friend. Mm, okay. And check with me how you put it. Okay. Just uh. What's the problem there? Because uh -huh, it's 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 a er. Maybe and share I, the, the, ah, okay. Or just send. Maybe I think the problem is because it has to be written in capital letters. DM, DM, yeah, could be in, written in capital letter, yes. I put in capital, the first letter. Uh-huh, only Others. the first letter. Yes. A ver, compártame cómo lo escribió. La pantalla. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing and you share yourself. Okay. Okay. Ah, es que le ha puesto or y tiene que ser air. Manufacturer with air. But I uh -huh, manufacturer yeah. with your uh, 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 that's okay. Yes. That's okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I didn't Le, find submit ahora. Good. Ah, fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. It was because of or instead of air. Ah, okay. Great. Anybody mm. else have problems here? Yeah. Anybody, anybody, anybody? No. No, me, teacher. Thank no. you. Great. Thanks. Hey, very nice. Y yo preguntándole a la 3.9, ¿verdad? Estamos en la unidad 4. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay, nice, nice, nice. Vamos a ver si ya estamos más para allá que para acá. Bye. And check. Here you have, right? Some of these are the ones that you have in the platform. Check. A suffix. What is a suffix? It's a letter or a group of letters added at the end of a word, which makes a new word. The new word is most often a different word category from the original word. When we say, when we say it's a different word category means one is a verb, that's one category, and the other is a noun, that is another category, right? Tomorrow I'm going to I'm going to share with you uh, how we form adjectives from verbs because it can be possible too, right? We have the same root and we add air, er, or, or remember the most common are or or air. Or air. So here they put e. 
year that really the, the change is the one that we know all the time, right? That if one word finishes in Y, before we add whatever, we have to make to, to change the Y to Y, and then we add ER, right? That's the rule for every time we have a, rule, a, a word fin finishing in Y. So we have supply, supplier. But really, the, the, the soft things that are like more recognized are air or or to now. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to also share with you when we have a word that is a noun that is telling about the person. And what are some nouns that are talking about a subject or a field for you to, to, to see the difference, right? Okay, so here we have the uh, manufacturer, manufacturer, supply, supplier, distribute, distributor. Distributor. Yeah, distributor. So we eliminate the E and then we add or. Manage. Manager. manager retail retailer retailer wholesale wholesaler sale mm -hmm. seller so what is a suffix what is a suffix er, uh to a group of letters that indicate the nouns what is a suffix? Because a suffix will not indicate me a noun. Um, what is a suffix? Yeah, it's not indicate uh, nouns. Mm -hmm. Is there a group of letters other in the end of the word? Exactly. That's a, a couple of letters, right? In, in some yeah. cases, they call it particle, but it's two letters, right? In this case, air or or, two letters that we add to the verb at the end, so they become a different word. Like the examples I showed you here, conquer, conqueror, mm -hmm. conceal, concealer. Concealer. Bad, batter, bar, bartender, survive, survivor, conduct, conductor, right? Narrate, you know, narrate finishes in E. But mm -hmm. we eliminate the E and add or. And when we say, if we talk about roots, narrator, we have the same root. The root is the beginning of the word. That's the root. So you have narrate, investigate, perpetrate, visit, operate, spectate, collect. So what happens is that at the end of the word, as we have the word at the end, we are or, like in this case, or we add air, like in this other case. Any question? No question. Mm -hmm. okay. No question for me, teacher. Then add air or to the ending of the verb to make a noun. In this case, the nouns are the names we use to designate people's occupations or labor. What well, they tell me what people do, right? For example, a seller sells, a wholesaler wholesales, a retailer retails, a manager manages, a distributor distributes, a supplier supplies, and a manufacturer manufactures. Okay, any question here? No question. Yes. No, at the moment. At the moment, no. Okay. 
Yeah. Now, uh, remember yesterday we were talking about plants and we were reading in the vocabulary different, let me refresh you what we were reading about and what we were organizing. We were organizing the steps to organize the new inventory management system. So what you're going to do now is use this is the steps that we were mentioning yesterday as a guide and design a plan. What type of plan? It's just a basic plan to organize an effective inventory, right? How do you think, how do you think you can organize an effectory, an effective inventory management. Yes, remember we have been talking about the different situations that you can uh, pass through in a warehouse when having things not very well organized. So, but how can you organize those things and make a plan? Make a plan to organize your warehouse effective right in an effective way and to have an effective inventory that means um, everything is registered everything has been tracked so if you keep uh, an inventory every day or monthly or every three months or every six months or every year you should know exactly what are the things that you have in your inventory okay so, but how, how would you do that? Yes, how would you do that? Later on, we will come back to share your ideas. Any questions here? No questions? Questions? No. What are we gonna do? You're going to design a basic plan to organize an effective inventory. This is what you have to do. Design a plan. Basic plan. Uh -huh. to, organize to organize an, an effective, effective inventory, inventory system. Something that works for you. Remember what I told you yesterday, we start with little, with the medicine that we have in our house. We have to keep a place for putting the medicine. For example, I have a two, two boxes. They are transparent. When one, I have medicine that is used for, for headache. If you have a headache, if you have any pain, if you feel with flu, that's the medicine for that. And on the other box, I have medicine for stomach. So if you have a stomachache, you know what to take and you know in which box you can find it without wasting too much time. If you have a headache, if you have a flu, you know where to find it. And there is the other, uh, like we can say deposit where we have the medicine that is in bottles, right? Like the vitamins, the collagen and all the different things, echinacea, vitamin C, the multivitamins, so they are separated apart. So we can see what is, a, if some medicine is finished, we can replay, replenish, right? And we can replay, uh, replace the medicine that is gone. But I have my plan and I, and I organize my inventory of the medicine in that way and, and it functions for me. Or if you tell me about the organization of food, I organize my food the same. I have transparent boxes for putting the flour for making tortillas, the rice, the sugar, the beans. So if I have flour for making bread or something like that, everything is in a different box and transparent box so I can see there is no more flour for making tortillas, right? Or it is about to. 
bit diminishing. Oh, the sugar is getting very little, little, little. I can easily see it and I know what to buy when I go to the supermarket. So that's my effective plan of my inventory of the food that I have or the medicine that I have in my house. So that way I know what I have, what I don't have, what I have enough, what I don't have enough. So I don't buy what I have, but I, but I buy what I see it's getting not enough, right? So the same in a warehouse, how can you make a plan? Remember basic, right? The basic plan. It doesn't have to be something too elaborated. Just a basic plan in which you could organize your inventory system in a very effective way. Well, effective for you, right? Somebody else in a big warehouse could say, mm, that's not enough. But we're talking about a basic plan. And we're talking also about what is effective for you. Yes, because depending on the reality of each of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know if you have any question. No questions. If you rem do you remember the steps we were talking about yesterday? Um, do you remember? Yes, if no, no. I share, I, I know that I am. Not, not at sure. all, but. Say, como que no, teacher, no, teacher. But I'm going to check with you. Let me see. Tomorrow, we will continue talking about the nouns, remember, right? Uh -huh. But shit. Okay, there. Check. Check. This is a, the steps that we studied last night. Do you remember? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we had the first one, record your sales. You want to record what your product, what product was sold, what the product's listed price is, discounts, and what price was actually paid for the product. So that's recording every single thing. Remember we were saying last week that there are people who keep it a, in a very organized way. They have a spreadsheet in the, in the computer and they record mm -hmm. every single thing. There are other people that keep it like a little informal and they have a notebook. And in that notebook, they are keeping a track of every single thing they sell, right? Mm -hmm. So they write everything. Remember, in this case, when it says record yourselves, what the product listed is, uh, price is, so you list the price. If one day, if one day it has a discount, you write the discounts and you write the real pr price, right? The real price that was paid for the product. Mm -hmm. So you don't write just a, a blue t-shirt, $20. Mm -hmm. What was the price at the beginning? So you can write a blue t-shirt, $25, $5 of discount, final price paid for the shirt, $20. So you keep a track of that. So later on, when you see, pero esta camisa valía 25, ¿qué pasó aquí? Faltan 5 dólares. You remember, because that is kept in a track, right? So you have recorded that. Number two, organize product and vendor information. Get all of your product and vendor information organized and in one place. Product information description and shipping information. Include as well the business name and the business contact information. Mm -hmm. All checking, all the product and the vendor information organized 
Where? Here and there, everywhere. No, just in one place. You have the product information, the description, the shipping information, how you got it and when. Include as well as the business name and the business contact information. All that information has to be recorded. Tag and label inventory. Do this to your inventory and it will ensure customers and cashiers are not confused about the product's price. So you tag and label. Póngale viñetita, right? Put the price to each of the items. Which each of the products that you receive them, put them a price. And like that, people will not get confused when selling the product, right? Okay, and the next one, receive inventory with the speed and accuracy. If there is a difference between the order you submitted and the actual inventory delivered, grab a copy of your purchase order to check. Why, where is the purchase order? Check it, right? To check and catalog all new inventory before it is put away in the stock. Remember, what, the memory is not forever, right? Sometimes you may forget something. So that's why it is very important that you keep a really good track of every single thing. And the last one, Create and submit accurate um, purchase orders. Incorporate a purchase order system to make purchases accurate and avoid confusion. Remember in the purchase order, you put all the details, right? All the extra information you need. And that way, nobody will get confused, not with the place to send the product, not to with the type of product they have to sell, the quantity and everything, the price, because you have recorded everything, right? Because everything is incorporated and correct. Okay, this is a, an example of a plan. So you will make your own plan, remember? These are some steps to organize an inventory management system. You will come up with different ideas, and design a plan. You can use the steps from above and you can write your own steps too. Design a basic plan to organize the inventory management system, but it should be effective. Is that clear for you? Yes, yes, no, no, teacher. Yes, teacher, it's clear for me. Okay, perfect. Well, let's go. I'm going to make groups. Let's see, okay. I'm going to make groups of five groups, right? Five groups. So we are groups of four. There you go. Join, join. Make your plan and be ready to check, to share it. Interno, no vamos. <risa> Ay, perdón. Ok, ya anda dormida la teacher hoy. Sí, join, join. Adriana. Carlita, ¿le parece? Check, check. Ana. Adolfo. Adolfo, Adolfo. Ana, hello. Ana, Ana, wake up. Ana, Ana, Ana. Mm. 
Victor, Victor, hello. Hi, Victor. Hi, hi. Teacher, hi. Hello. How are you? Fine, fine. And you? Expecting your photos. Oh. <laughs> the pictures for tomorrow. The pictures of the graduation, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's true. And here, Brenda and Adriana here. Adriana Maria. Yes. Hello. Hi. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> <We are> here. <laughs> hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Ya se nos va a acabar el tiempo. Tenemos 12 minutos. Jesús. Hombre, hombre. Claudia, hello, Clau, Clau. No está Clau. A ver, somebody can share, Adriana María. Adri, por favor. You will try, okay, perfect. Yes, I'm going to try. I'm still working, I'm sorry. <laughs> What time do you finish work? Yeah, I have work in my home. Ah. Uh -huh. So it's my time. <laughs> ok, no, qué barbaridad. Dígale, yo no trabajo después de las ocho. Could you see? Can you see? Yes. yes. I see you. Ahí está. Very good. Ok. Subimos. Arriba. Uh -huh. Más arriba. Más. Allí. Uh -huh. okay. Ahí. Arriba. No, en la otra. Ese, ahí está, el U-turn. Ah, uh, oh, ok. Uh -huh. This one. Yeah. Ok. You're organizing a basic plan to organize an effective inventory. Ok. Okay. Nice. System. I don't want credit segment. Oh. Um, Talk about inventory, record your sales. What do you say, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Mauricio and Brenda. Okay. Uh, let me see. I don't know, but a plan. Vamos a, eh, vamos a crear un plan básico siguiendo esta guía. Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál sería el paso número uno? De acuerdo a la guía. Record your sales. Ay, qué chévere. Vemos cuatro y no hacemos uno. You pay for the product. Here are your products and then the information and I said, and in one place, product information, description, and shipping info. Includes as well the business name and business contact info. To this inventory, and it was insured customers. Aha. Uh -huh. If there is a between 
No se entiende ni en inglés ni en español, pero. No, 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 pero, perdón, lo iba leyendo para mí nada más rapidito para entenderlo. No lo estaba leyendo el público. Ok. Vaya, eh, ok. Eh, the first, I the think. First. The first step. I think is uh, for me is organize product and vendor yes information yes I think so that is the first because uh, that it will be the classification of you uh, of when where you put all the product. Each product. Mm -hmm. Sería el paso ese que dice Carla. Organize. Mm -hmm. Product and vendor, informa in and vendor information. Number two, maybe tag and level ah. intensity. I think... Eh, tenemos que explicar por qué, ¿verdad? No. Sí. No, well, organize the plan. Make a basic plan for you. Ah, okay. What do you think will work? Okay. Hmm. But this is the two. Would be tag and label inventory. Tag and label inventory. Mm-hmm. This is number one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> number two, tag and label inventory. Yes. Then el cinco. Number five, uh, create a sum uh, and summit accurate purchase orders. I think because it says incorporate a purchase order system to mm -hmm. make purchase accurate and avoid confusions. Uh, 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 it, it, it talk about uh, Hi teacher. Hi, hi. Uh, I already do, but the steps, they are only three. Okay. For, me. For you, only three will work. Okay. Yes, because it's it's short. It's a little short. Okay. It's a bit short. Okay. As it is a basic uh, a basic plan, that's okay. That's okay. You shouldn't have too many too many steps. Mm -hmm. Right. The first step, uh, uh, they keep the different products sort sorted and separated. Okay. And keep a record of products and quantities. And the three, the third one is uh, take inventory on a regular basis. Okay, very good. Not once a year, right? It should it should be more often. Uh huh. Excellent. Very good. At least once a month will be okay. What do you think? Como? At least once a month will be okay. Ah, uh, sí. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sería una vez al mes. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Great way. Well, one more minute and then I take you out. My cat want to get out of my cows and <laughs> me too <laughs> and now another sad okay um, uh, I put in this in the step number six uh, uh -huh. control the output 
Yeah. Um, of the products. Yeah, I I think that the step four and five as a part as a part of outbound. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay. Teacher, we need to share uh, a screen with the with the steps. Yeah, if you want, you can share. And uh, because I don't write anything <laughs> in ah, this okay. moment. It's okay, if not, it's okay. Yeah, only, it's only witty witty. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, I, I have in 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 my in my book, but yeah, in my notebook. But I don't uh, write anything in a any any a slide. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. No problem, my friend. Okay, let's go. Or or let's let's participate another one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, 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 everybody here. Nine. Ten. Nine. <laughs> How many? Ten, eleven. Present teacher. Present. I mean, who would like to share? <laughs> who would like to share? One volunteer? Tell me about your plan. Uh -huh. The group number one teacher. Okay, group number one. Tell me, Fernando. No, I don't know who is the who uh, went the group number one. Number one is Adriana Maria. I, I, I was I was the sixth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. We are the number seven. No, hay no hay ni number six ni seven. La, la Biblia dice los últimos. Serán los primeros. Ah, va, ahí está. Podemos empezar de los últimos. Because he wants to be the, the volunteer. David, Nubia, Saúl, and Victor. <laughs> Democraticamente, right? Amen, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. O si no me las comparten mañana, porque ya son las nueve y uno. But be ready. In eight and ten. Yes. Yeah, I'm agree with you. At nueve y uno, ¿verdad? Sí. <laughs> <laughs> That but is a great idea. Yeah. So you let me know tomorrow, but don't escape. Ya le voy a tomar captura de los grupos que tenemos. Pero yo lo sé. Si no se hacemos de los panes. Sí, porque si no mañana, este, yo no me acuerdo con quién iba. Dice. Ah. No, yo only, ten, only ten people tomorrow. I don't remember. The old reliable. Sí. I don't remember, teacher. I don't remember who was in my group, but I will remember. I will have five. Ahí está. You're captured. In my office, we say Olympics of fashion. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Es uh, por la campana, right? <laughs> Saved by the bell. Save by the bell. Okay, bueno, vámonos a la tienda. Let's see, Adolfo. Present teacher. See you tomorrow. See you. Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Brenda. Present teacher. Claudio. 
Cruz Antonio. David. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Mauricio. Good night, teacher. Good night. Present, teacher. Pedro Luis. Present, teacher. Saul Edgardo. Present. Sulma. Present. Victor. Present, teacher. Fernando. Present, teacher. And Rosy. Present, teacher. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Any questions? No questions. No, no teacher, no question. Okay, perfect, perfect. Rosy. Se queda hoy o mañana, Rosy. Yo creo que mañana y se queda Fernando aunque quiere escaparse, teacher. No hay ese. Yesterday. Yeah, he stayed. <laughs> Ah, teacher, es que yo escuché que le dijo Fernando y se queda muy <laughs> No, I told him, do you want to stay today or do you want to stay tomorrow? He said, eh, ah, today, teacher. And he said yesterday. Oh, okay. okay, if you want to stay tomorrow, that's okay. Miren, les voy a compartir un link with a lot of examples of, eh, of nouns. E-R- O R and the one with A R, que no es muy común, verdad? With the okay. school. so you can share it there. You have the rules, explanation, and the examples. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, y al final un quiz. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow we will talk a little bit more about the topic, and remember. Uh, we're going to say when the noun is to talk about the person who does that action or if we're talking about a field or a subject. Okay, that's tomorrow. Okay. Okay, well, we are in a chapter, in the middle of a chapter. See you. Bye. 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 Good night for all. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Sí, bueno, como, ahí, como ahí dice de nubia, bien pueden ver que es nubia. Me sí. <laughs> Gracias, teacher. Feliz noche. Thank you, thank you. The same to you. Sorry, teacher, yo no sabía hablar. Y yo solo la miraba, vea. No, y es que sabe que se me ha arruinado la memoria. Y yo tenía una captura de la clase de ayer. Pero no me encuentro. Yes. No, 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 no puedo ver nada. Está en blanco todo. La imagen. O sea, pues... Welcome. Oh, teacher. Yo tengo todas las capturas y no, no puedo ver ninguna. ¿De qué era que le hacía falta? 
es una de las diapositivas que compartió. Es que no me... Oh. no me recuerdo bien, teacher, pero sí, yo lo tenía. No puede ser. No puede, el chat no lo logra ver. Mm, lo compartió en chat ayer. Creo. No, teacher, no lo compartió. Ah, no, just the question. Yes, let me see. Let me see. Voy a llorar, teacher, que hay un montón de fotos que cuando las abro. ¿Y, ¿Y por qué será? ¿No tiene el programa que necesita para abrirlo o será que no tiene espacio? No, lo que pasa es que sabe que me compartieron una aplicación para ver películas. Y yo nunca bajo esas cosas. Yo creo que eso me lo dañó porque fue instalándole eso. Y me comenzó a dar problemas. Fue ahora en la mañana. ¿Y ya se la desinstaló? Sí, pero ya me la dañó. Ya me dañó. Ah. Ay, no. Pero sí, yo tenía clara la diapositiva que quería preguntarle. Ver, si quiere, le comparto. Ok. Sí, ahí está, ahí está. Ahí. Pero, Digo que todos lo, lo entendieron y solo yo no capté, creo. This is yesterday's. Yes. Oye, esa, 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 esa. Esta. Ajá. What is your question? Um, es que... En realidad no entendí bien toda la explicación, Tiche. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? ¿En qué momento hay que usar... Uh, o sea, veo que, por ejemplo, she picked up her books and ran to class hurriedly. Uh -huh. La tiene al final, la tiene al final. And she picked up her books and hurriedly ran to class. La tiene así como eh, el orden. ¿En qué momento se utiliza el diferente orden? Ah, ok. Bye. Eh, recuerde que este, cuando decimos hurriedly, estamos hablando de un adverb of manner. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que nos responde en la pregunta how. She picked up her books and ran how. She ran hurriedly. Right? How. Oh. Hurriedly. Uh -huh. How. How did she run? And as it says, eh, adverbs are versa. Ah, espérame, que me me olvida que está compuesto uh -huh. Adverbs are versatile as they are mobile or mobile. They can often be used or can be moved within a sentence within limits. That's why you can say she picked up her books and ran to class hurriedly or she picked up her books and hurriedly ran to class. El significado no varía no cambia, no queda igual. She picked up her books and hurriedly ran to class. Y corrió, ¿verdad? Y corrió rápido a su casa. Oh, she picked up her books and ran to class hurriedly y corrió a clase, no a su casa, ¿verdad? Y corrió a su clase rápido. Oh, y corrió rápido a su casa, a su clase. And ran hurriedly to class. Y corrió rápidamente a clase. Entonces, if you notice, the meaning is exactly the same. The thing is that when you make, uh, when you use this type of adverb, it can move and it can be used in three different positions. But if you notice, they are always around the verb because what they are modifying is the verb run. And it is answering the question, how? They ran how? How did they run? Hurriedly. Uh, hurriedly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They ran hurriedly. How did they run? Hurriedly. Mm -hmm. And hurriedly, 
run the class. Pero al final, toda, eh, no importa en qué posición esté, el horribly is siempre modifying the action. I hurriedly ran to class. Uh -huh. So the adverb is always modifying the verb. It doesn't matter if it is before the verb or if it is after the verb. The meaning is the same. The meaning is the same. Okay. The meaning is the same. There are some adverbs, let the CIO ayer, but for example, here, check. The old man told his story, como? Deliberadamente. Pero si usamos adverbs of frequency, ellos están en una posición donde yo no lo puedo cambiar. The test usually confirms the diagnosis. Oh, the test always, aunque cambie de usually, a always, le puedo poner never, le puedo poner whatever, es siempre me está actuando como un adverb. En este caso es un adverb of manner, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso, este no está calificando el verbo, está calificando qué. Mm. What happens with the test? Confirm the diagnostic. It confirms the diagnosis. Cuando? Usually. Usually, or cuando, always. Remember that we will say oh. that, that the adverb can tell me the frequency or the time that you do something. It can also tell you the place you do it, or it can tell you how you do it. That's the case of other of money. She sang how? Well, mm -hmm. then the other will be telling me, well, will be, will be describing how he sang. He sang how? How did he sing? He sang well. He ran quickly. Quickly is modifying how the person ran. She cried quietly. Quietly is qualifying how she cried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if we use adverbs of frequency, they are after the noun, but before the verb. In the case of often, porque el often es un poco caprichoso. Mm -hmm. And it can go to the, to the end, pero no puedo decir yo, the old man told his story always. In that case, I should say, the old man always told his story. See? So when you describe here, the old man told his story, como? Como la dijo? Deliberately. How often he said it? He said it often. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So it depends on what you want to express. That's the time uh, or the type of adverb that you're going to be using. OK. Mm -hmm. Otra pregunta, teacher. De yeah. los de los links que nos está compartiendo, ¿verdad que no, no se cierran o algo? ¿Los podemos no, estar? No, no, oh, no, okay. no, no cierran, no cierran. Usted los puede checar ahora, los puede bajar, guardarlos, porque si borran el libro eh, o si borran el grupo, ¿verdad? Oh, okay. Que los grupos los borran. Entonces esos okay. links usted los puede ir guardando en, en una su hojita de Word, en un documento de Word para que aunque borren el, el, el grupo, usted ya los tiene. ¿Verdad? Ok, sí, porque sí están ayudando mucho, en serio, Tichi. Sí, sí, porque están así relacionados con los temas que estamos, que estamos viendo, para que así les dé un poquito, un poquito de extra help. 
Sí, porque a veces no sé si a la mayoría nos pasa, pero cuando hemos, sentimos que hemos entendido es cuando menos hemos entendido. <risa> eso pasa, eso pasa. Y los ejercicios para eso sirven, para rechecar qué tanto entendió uno. Inconscientemente, ¿verdad? No con presión. Exacto. Fíjese que mi, lo que yo le he mencionado a usted de la frustración no me pasa, pero ahorita lo que no quiero es como enfrascarme a que no, porque yo percibo que sí, ya lo estoy absorbiendo y en algún momento sí, porque yo tengo un problema, teacher, cuando yo me presiono es cuando menos. Sí, y es que eso así es. Eso uh -huh. es. Por eso es que si se ha fijado últimamente lo que les he estado mandando son juegos. Sí. Para que se relajen, porque yo sé que a esta altura del año uno ya está así como más cansado, ya, ya quiere irse a, a descansar. Entonces, hace un juego, o sea, sin presión de cuánto me voy a sacar, uy, ¿qué me van a decir? Entonces, sin presión, tranquilamente, lo completa, se checa, uy, salí bajito, lo puede volver a hacer. Entonces, pero que ayer empecé con el juego de identifique el cuáles son adverbs. Uh -huh. No, y este lo reta uno a a mejorar en la segunda vez. Sí. Uh -huh. Sí, porque lo hace la primera vez y si ahí salió bajito, ese, uy, no, lo voy a hacer otra vez. Uh -huh. A ver cómo me va la siguiente vez. ¿Verdad? Sí. Entonces, muchas gracias, teacher, en serio. Gracias. Y gracias por, porque yo sé que a mí me tiene extra paciencia más que todo. <risa> No, pues a seguir aprendiendo, a ponerse las pilas. Sí, gracias, Peche. Y felicidades. Thank you, thank you. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.